Okay, in this problem, uh, let's see, we have a widescreen television for $1,500. There's a down payment of 10% that happens and the balance is paid over 10 months. Okay, so let's see what we got here. The, the finance charge was 5% of the amount financed. Okay, so there's nothing here, there's nothing mentioned about compound interest or compounding. So this finance charge was 5% of the amount financed. Well, what is that? We're starting off with a price of 1500. Okay, we're I, I, uh, neglecting the sales tax. So the price is 1500, down payment of 10%. So 10% of 1500 is 150. So you're financing 1350. Now, what I have highlighted here in yellow, the finance charge was 5% of the amount financed. This is the amount financed, the 1350. So the finance charge in our uh, according to the variables we're using within these formulas, capital I total amount of interest, total interest fee, finance charge, these all mean the same thing. So the total amount of interest or the finance charge was 5% of the amount financed. That's the 1350. So let's go over here to the calculator, 5%, 0.05 of, multiply, 1350. So the finance charge was $67.50. So the total installment price, let me go back here, the total installment price should be, so again we're looking at part B, or part two here, should be the 1500, which is the cost of the TV, plus the $67.50 and that's giving us the $1,567.50. So total installment price is what you actually pay after you make all of your payments including the interest with the down payments of $1,567.50. Now the monthly payment for the television. So we're financing uh, the 1350. So after the down payment, you still owe 1350 plus the let's get rid of this uh, plus the interest charge. So let me yeah, let's go back to the calculator. So our interest is six sixty-seven fifty uh, plus the thirteen fifty. That's our principal on the loan or on the line of credit. So we're we're paying uh, fourteen seventeen and fifty cents, one thousand four hundred seventeen dollars and fifty cents over ten months. So if we divide this by ten. There's our 141.75. So for part C, the monthly payment, that is just up here, 141.75. Okay, uh, that about does it for this. I think the, the issue here was uh, assuming compounding when there is no compounding. There, there's no mention of compounding or compounded monthly, so um, we're actually given the total finance charge, which is 5% of the principal amount. Okay, hope this helps.